sexy. Kindness is sexy. Yes. Kindness is sexy. Kindness. Hi, it's Mary Ellen O'Neill Maidley with KISS, Kindness is Sexy. And today, I'm here with Steve Maidley, who, yes, happens to be my husband. We've been through a lot in the last year, and there are things that we have done that we think, you know, can help people who are going through the same things. You could be going through a divorce. Luckily, that's not what we're going through. Um, you could be going through a loss in the family. We actually have several of those every year. It could be a new job. It could be uh, you know, things with your children. No matter what it is, we found that the best thing to help us through is kindness. And Steve is one of the best people when it comes to doing good things for other people. I try. All year long, Steve does things like uh, snow blowing people's driveways, the elderly in our community, even the young people because they're away all day working and then when they come home, uh, we've had a snowstorm. He just likes to make sure that they can get in their driveway and not have to park their car on the street and take a chance of getting hit. That's the dad in him. Even yesterday, our waste management team for Simcoe County happened to come by taking our garbage and our um, recyclables. And Steve came running in the house and I couldn't figure out what he was doing. He grabbed two uh, cold drinks for them because it was over 30, it was correct? Very, very hot. Yes. Really hot. And both the guys were so thankful. Something so simple. We're not talking about, you know, having to go out and buy them lunch. Just something that makes them more comfortable doing a job where they're outside all day. If you happen to have somebody working on your roof or, you know, somebody working on your lawn, cutting your grass, just taking something nice out to them to keep them cold, that would be awesome. Uh, you also do things like uh, cutting grass for people that can't. Um, taking care if some if there's a senior that needs some help or something in the community he's there all the time what is it that makes you do stuff like that you've been doing these things since we first moved here 27 years ago I just like helping people if I see someone with something they need done and I know that they're very busy or they're elderly or they don't have time for it and I'm doing something around my house uh, for example with mrs. Smith when she used to be across the road yeah um, I know that she couldn't get out to do her driveway, so I have my snow blower going. It takes me 10 minutes to clear my driveway. What's it take another five minutes just to walk across the road and, and do hers for her? Saves her the aggravation and, and uh, gets it done for her. And often, the one thing I would see is he would be doing our driveway in the winter time, and then all of a sudden he'd disappear and he'd be at one neighbor. Then I'd see him go across to the next neighbor mm -hmm. and then the next neighbor. So it's just doing nice things just out of the goodness of your heart. But you also do a lot of volunteering. Every job that I have ever had, Steve gives his time to every event. Mm -hmm. And most for the last 10 years, my jobs have been events probably I don't know, five to 10 a year. And he's at every single one volunteering. And what is it about those that you decide, oh, I'm just gonna help you out with everything? Well, you're not around, so I might as well come with you and help you. <laughs> no, uh, all kidding aside. There's a method to his madness. All, all kidding aside, <laughs> it's not boredom. It's just, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I like to be involved in things. I like, uh, I like working with, with the different charities and uh, help coordinate events. and be part of the events, it's just fun. It, it gives me something to do. And it's really good for the community itself. Um, people who are looking for work. I have a lot of friends right now, including myself, who they're looking for jobs. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I always say, the most no. important thing is to get out there and volunteer. Because when you volunteer, you don't know who you're gonna meet. Mm -hmm. You could meet up with someone who is your next boss. And in fact, the last two jobs that I had had, um, that's how I ended up finding jobs was just doing volunteer work with Rogers TV, um, it, which is fun. You get to do camera work, you can do audio, there's tons of things you can do with Rogers TV, yeah. and they're all about the community as well. In Innisfil, so, there are different organizations like the Rotary Club, Ice Corps. If you look on community calendars, you can see what events are coming up and see if they're looking for volunteers, charities. 
charities are always looking for volunteers. Mm -hmm. One of the things that they need when they're doing an event to raise money is volunteers. Doesn't matter if you, if you have two hours to give, great. If you have a whole day to give, that's phenomenal. Giving back to your community doesn't take a lot of time. You can give back even if it's something that you can create, whether you are, um, maybe you sew and there's something that you can make for homeless shelters, blankets, uh, pillowcases, anything. Even our little dog, Foxy Cleopatra, she likes to volunteer her time to make people feel better. So we're gonna start taking her into some of the nursing homes that allow puppies to come in and make them, make people smile. Right, baby girl? Yeah, yeah, I'll get involved. <laughs> Volunteering at your local food bank, donating food, donating um, donating clothing to different charities, different organizations. Doing things for the community is really good for everyone. So let's get out this summer and do something good for someone, whatever the event is, um, even if it's, you know, you're just sewing something or you're donating clothing or you're donating food, whatever you can do, let's do that and show all of the people in our communities that we really care. And just a reminder that kindness is sexy and Steve is definitely one of the sexiest men I've ever known in my life. That's why we're still married. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Thank you, Steve, for taking the time. I no know problem. this is not something you like doing. It's a little but... out of my comfort zone. <laughs> but I really appreciate you doing it. Thanks everyone. Have a great day. Thank you. Kindness is sexy. Kindness is sexy. Yes! yes.